Aloha and good morning. On behalf of the United States Army Garrison Hawaii Commander, Colonel Steve McGonigal, and Command Sergeant Major Derek Wise, welcome to the United States Army Garrison Hawaii Memorial Day Remembrance Ceremony. Welcome Major General Ryan and Julie Ryan, and Command Sergeant Haney, representing the 25th Infantry Division and U.S. Army Hawaii. Miss Diana Helwig, representing the 8th Theater Sustainment Command, welcome and our Gold Star families. Today we gather to honor those service members who gave the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our country and our way of life. For over 248 years since the American Revolution began and in every war, conflict, and peacekeeping operation since, men and women have paid the cost of freedom with their lives. The exact number may never be known, but American cemeteries and many countries across the globe are filled with white markers neatly aligned on beautiful green lawns, just as here at Schofield, as a solemn reminder of their sacrifice for us and for the nation. Today, we salute all service members, past and present, who laid down their lives to help ensure that freedom lives on for all of us. This morning, the American flag is flown at half staff as a tribute to them. At the end of today's ceremony, following the rifle salute to our nation, the flag will be raised to full staff and taps will be played by a lone bugler in the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Lawhorn, Garrison Chaplain, will give the invocation. Please rise if you are able. Good morning, friends. Ohana. I invite you to join me in prayer according to your tradition as I pray in mine. Our Heavenly Father, our God of grace and glory, we gather humbly before you this day, setting ourselves aside in these moments before your presence to commemorate the lives of these, our friends, our family. We thank you for bringing them into our lives that we might know and love them as companions on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, God, I ask that you'd comfort us as we remember, as we mourn once more, and as we celebrate lives well-lived and selflessly sacrificed and yet too soon ended. Give us faith to see in death the gate to eternal life so that in quiet confidence, we may continue to run our course on earth until by your call, we are reunited with those who have gone before. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Please be seated. Our keynote speaker for today's ceremony is Colonel Steve McGonigal, Commander, United States Army Garrison, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel McGonigal. We are here this morning in this hallowed place on this hallowed ground to pay tribute. To remember those who have gone before us, today's ceremony is a solemn one, solemn out of respect and admiration for those we are here to remember. Those we remember today gave their lives for our Republic. They were mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, sons, daughters, aunts, uncles. They are survived by our Gold Star families, families who truly know the cost of freedom. Major General Ryan, Command Sergeant Major Haney, Ms. Diana Helwig, those who are here with us today, community leaders, community members, service members, families, and all who have taken the time today to remember. Thank you. I want to say a special thanks to the Scouts and Cub Scouts who placed American flags at every grave marker. They do this each and every Memorial Day. These flags honor these interred here and those at similar cemeteries across the country and across the world. Memorial Day is a day of reverence. It is one day each year dedicated to honoring the military men and women who gave their last full measure of devotion in service to others in defense of our nation, its values, freedoms, and liberties. This custom started soon after the Civil War. Originally known as Decoration Day, it was a day set aside to honor the sacrifice and service of the veterans from the Civil War. They decorated their graves with flags, ribbons, and flowers. The first Memorial Day was in 1882, and it was originally to honor the Civil War veterans. 
the day later became a, a federal holiday in 1971. Today on this Memorial Day, we could focus on what is different, but let's take this day, this moment, and remember the meaning of why we are here. It is easy to forget as we go about our lives. Many take for granted the opportunities and freedoms we have, but let's always remember we have freedom and opportunity because of those we recognize and remember today. Over 1,300,000 Americans have given their lives in service of our nation over the last 248 years. Those we remember have names chiseled into a wall, written in stone, set on a statue, engraved in plaques on a wall, or marked by a star. Each name is a person who paid the ultimate price, such as First Samuel Kanahailua Top Solomon Jr., a decorated veteran of the Korean and Vietnam War. First Sergeant Solomon lost his life carrying wounded men to safety and was hit by gunfire in the Vietnam War. He's a recipient of two silver stars, three bronze stars, and two purple hearts. His final assignment was an infantry company senior sergeant with Charlie Company, 1st Battalion, 27th Infantry Wolfhounds, 25th Infantry Division. In First Sergeant Solomon's dedication to his comrades and service to his country, we can find many of the values that were important to ourselves and families today. During Veterans Day on November 11th, 1969, the State of Hawaii Department of Education and U.S. Army Garrison dedicated First Sergeant Samuel K. Solomon Elementary on Schofield Barracks. Every day we remember his service. Whether in a ceremony, a quiet moment of remembrance, or a simple toast, it must be noted that these service members represent the best of America. Whatever its flaws, there is no other place like America on this earth, as President Reagan emphasized. Governed by its own people, America is a shining city on a hill, the last best hope of man on this earth. We must treasure the great gift of liberty other Americans sacrifice their lives for. A great gift of liberty inherited because of them, and we have a duty to help preserve. Today, we pay tribute to all the men and women who have given all, whether deployed in harm's way all across the globe or defending our freedoms at home. We remember them with gratitude and respect for the selfless service they provided. So as I close today, remember, we the living owe soldiers, Marines, sailors, airmen, coast guardsmen, and guardians who have made the ultimate sacrifice. These brave Americans, men and women of great character from all walks of life, gave their lives to secure the rights and freedoms of others. Mahalo. At this time, the following organizations and commands will be presenting wreaths at the base of the flagpole in honor of our fallen. Mr. Ace Kaleohano, representing the Military Order of the Purple Heart, Department of Hawaii and Rainbow Chapter 483.
Mr. Joseph Bragg, Petty Officer, Second Class, U.S. Navy, retired. Senior Vice Commander, Veterans of Foreign Wars, Department of Hawaii, and Post Commander, VFW Post 12138, Eva Beach. Mr. Raul Esteras, National Executive Committeeman, American Veterans, Department of Hawaii. Representing gold star families around the world, the family members of fallen heroes will now lay a wreath. United States Army Garrison Hawaii, Colonel Steve McGonigal and Command Sergeant Major Derek Wise will now lay the final wreath at the base of the flagpole in commemoration of the men and women who went above and beyond the call of duty and laid their lives on the line for their country and their fellow service men and women.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national salute and the playing of taps. For those in uniform and anyone who wishes to render a salute, please do so when Command Sergeant Major Wise gives the command. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Mahalo for attending.